Power generation is where we really need to innovate. formerly Twitter, every day, every single day, multiple times a day, because I believe that Twitter or X, as it's called now, is really almost like the pulse of humanity. It's so immediate. It's so short. And I love the fact that these, the most of it is short form, because I think Twitter was always X was always best as short form. I love the short form piece of it. And it's all about breaking news. It's the pulse of humanity because each and every individual who's on X can post something and it can go somewhere. And I was reading a very famous tweet stream of an individual who will remain nameless. And they were talking about, they were boasting about how since the 1st of January, which is about a month ago, a uh, month and a half ago maybe, they've only spent 41 dollars to charge their Tesla. And first of all, see, this is the thing with a lot of things on X, on, on social media, on mainstream media, on any kind of media, period, is that they just throw numbers out completely out of context. If, if someone told me they, it, it cost them $41 to fill their tank last month, I might think to myself, is that a good price? Is that a bad price? How would I know that $41 is a good price based on simply that number? There's no way to know. There's no context around it. All I know is that from January 1st to February 10th, it cost them $41. Did they drive at all? Did they drive any distance at all? Who knows? Who knows how far they drove? There's key bits of information missing. And that's one, of, that's one of the things that really drives me insane about social media and mainstream media in general, is that they try to make points based on a lack of information. They'll throw a number out to you, making you think it's an amazingly huge number or an amazingly small number based on how they want you to react to that number. But they give you zero context around the number, right? So it's the exact same thing. But I digress. This has nothing to do with the main focus of this show, which is what I ask is in power generation. And part of what this gentleman said was that he was so proud that he was able to do it all without any carbon footprint. Now, I thought to myself, sure, the Tesla itself does not leave a carbon footprint. It does not send out any emissions. It is a zero emission vehicle total sense. But the question is, and this is the same question for all of you out there who have electric vehicles, all of you out there who have battery powered cars, do you know where your energy is being generated? See, that's the big difference between ICE vehicles, internal combustion engines, and electric vehicles, is that in an electric vehicle, your energy is being generated somewhere else. It could be generated in a clean way, or it could be generated in a very dirty way. You have no idea because you are at the whims of whatever the power company is. Wherever you happen to have plugged in your car, whoever happens to support it, you don't know if you're getting clean energy or dirty energy. You could be filling your Tesla with dirty, dirty energy. You have no idea because you have no idea where it comes from. Whereas in an ICE vehicle, you know exactly where the power is being generated. The power is being generated in the vehicle itself. And I think that's the key differentiator between these two things, is that in the ICE vehicle, it's actually generating the power. In the Tesla, in the electric vehicle, it is not. It is simply using the power. And that's why I think that the biggest problem we have outside of any other kinds of innovation is power. We need innovations in power generation, like the internal combustion engine that can actually create huge amounts of power with a small amount of resource. Things like internal combustion engines are great examples, steam engines, 
geothermal. There's lots of different things. There's lots of different things out there that will allow us to generate power based on our surroundings. But the key differentiator is generation. We need to innovate in the generation space, not just in the storage space in the, and in the usage space, because we are renov innovating in that space as well. Why do you think your laptop today can last 12 hours on a charge, as opposed to laptops years ago only lasted an hour on a charge? Because we were able to make the actual laptop more efficient. And it's the same thing with everything else. We need to those two things to come together. We need to, the power generation to get better, and we need the thing that is driving it to require less and less power. So those two things need to come together in the same way they've come together for laptops, for other electronics, for devices. Why do you think it's hours and hours and hours, even days between the time you need to charge your iPhone? It's because it's a very efficient battery power using device. But again, it is not generating the power on the device. We need breakthrough innovations in power generation, including and not limited to nuclear. We need to figure out ways of generating power in small spaces safely. Interim technology. Tesla is an interim technology. E electric, electric vehicles are interim technology. That's why I'm so excited about things like fuel cell technology and things that are beyond electricity because we need the generation to occur in the vehicle. We need the generation to eventually occur in the device. If there was a nuclear fusion powered iPhone, would you not use it? An iPhone that would never need to be charged with a tiny little sliver of some type of isotope protected against radiation leakage would last a millennia, a lifetime. Wouldn't it be better if we generated the power in the devices as opposed to generating it elsewhere and then just storing it and reusing it? That is why we need power generation innovation. And if you're thinking about a startup in that space, that's a wide open space, and that is something that we will always need more of, especially with AI. AI needs tons of power, and it'll only need more. Power generation is where we need to innovate. That's it for me for today. See you next time, and until then, don't forget to think future.